Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It's entirely possible you're going to get two vlogs today because I think in a bit I'm going to put up the Burford vlog, the travelling vlog from yesterday, and then I'm going to catch myself up and put a bit of a vlog up today. I don't suppose there's going to be an awful lot in today's vlog. Um, I'm working this morning. Then I don't have any little ones during the day, so I normally wouldn't be working and I'm not. I'm picking Kenzie up at half nine from his exam. I've got a few things I need to do around the house. I've got a little list of stuff that I'm working my way through. I'm going to have some Zen time. And then, then, at four o'clock I've got the dentist appointment to fix this broken tooth. So I'm not working this afternoon. So it might just be that I have a very chilled kind of vlog. So you get that one and then maybe just a very short what I've done today vlog. Um, but we'll see how that goes. We'll see what I, you know, what footage I get. before it's not officially winter yet because it's not the solstice but I'm changing the autumn card on my little zen zone because it actually feels like winter now being out in the van and getting cold because the heater was playing up but also spending all that time outside as you do when you're in a van you know you walk around and you're more in touch with the elements because it's right literally there you haven't got central heating and all those sorts of things you really have to think about the mud coming into your van condensation the cold the drafts you know it's all more prominent when you're in the van and it definitely felt like we needed to bring in the winter picture for my zen zone so this is going to go on the fireplace here as one of my sort of focal points and this as well which is a lovely wintry picture of some trees that I was given so that's going on there as well except uh, I don't think there is a right way up to be honest I think it is that way up <laughs> to me in, in the other videos where I have done the runes and that I tend to put just the um when I hold the rune up I tend to put a couple of bits about it um and the name of it and people have said they'd like to know a bit more about it now I'm just learning so my understanding is not going to be the same as people who have studied this for a very long time um so that was Elgiz which is the elk in the elder Lutharic um runes which is what my set is um and it's about protection. Now the elk wasn't just an elk. It's also considered to be like an elk sage, I think it was, which is a plant um, which has prickly bits on. Now, if you look at the that shape, when I held it up, um, it's kind of either like somebody calling to a higher being, like this, with their head and their arms and then their body. Uh, it could be the horns of an elk, you know, the antlers of an elk or the prickly of a plant protecting itself. So there's a lot of different versions of kind of what you think it 
it means and a lot of it is your own interpretation along those lines um, but for me I feel it's telling me to be aware of my surroundings as the elk would be when it's grazing or eating um, it, you know it's never just focused on what it's doing it's always very aware of danger around it um, and I feel that it is at the moment telling me to just be cautious there's lots of stuff going around you know I think with COVID um, and there's some other other situations which I don't want to talk about here um, that could be unhealthy um, and I need to be aware of that and maybe have some distance in that um, and that will then bring the protection so that's where the protection element is coming in to protect myself be aware of my surroundings be aware of the situation and protect myself from that so that's what I'm taking from it, it might sound a little bit what have you because obviously you don't know what's going on in my head and and obviously we try to link these things to our current situation um, but I just feel that's what that rune is telling me just be aware today of some protection and some distancing and your surroundings so there you go don't know if it interests you but that's what I took from it today now I need to go get Kenzie from his exam because he finishes in 10 minutes I'm having an unexpectedly chilled morning, so I'm going to do this puzzle that Minx Laura sent me um, as a little gift, which was lovely because I'm really in the mood to do a Christmas puzzle and I haven't done any of them yet, and we are very close to Christmas. But Kenzie would like to buy something. What do you want to buy, Kenzie? Uh, new game. What's your new game? Pokemon. Pokemon game. So he's asked for some jobs. So the jobs that I had on my list that I needed to do um he's going to do and i'll pay him to be my cleaner today so yeah he's he's sorting that out and that means i can enjoy some puzzle time i'm making a good start on this puzzle there's a lot of colors obviously it's a very colorful picture but there's also a lot of colors that you think go in one place but don't they go in a different place you know you think you've got one present then you go oh no it's that present over there you can't see very well because of the light but it is santa's workshop with different elves doing different things. This one's very cute with his teddy bear. But again, you can't really see it very well. Because the light's shining on it. Santa just checking out everything's okay. Yes, I, I think this plane will do. It's past inspection. And I did think this kid was about to hit Father Christmas on the bum with a candy cane. But I don't. I think he's actually adjusting the clock for the cuckoo. On my list of things to do, I have various candles that are, you know, finished, but not quite finished, if you can see what I mean. My plan is to melt down all of the wax, fish out the little bits from the bottom with some tweezers or something. Hopefully not break these in the process of trying to melt the wax. Um and then re-wick them because i've bought some more wicks we'll just see how it goes if it really doesn't work then i've not really lost anything it's just trial and error those small ones are doing okay the big one's obviously going to take longer i think we might be getting somewhere not bad it's all been melted down I've still got a little bit in here that's not quite melted um, and I've got a little bit in a tin as well, some Savile Orange which could do with melting down so I'll put that in there as well.
rest. So I have successfully made two candles, which are now cooling. I've washed up the other two pots, rolled them in some boiling water, um, and then I've just used some soap and that's helped. Kenzie has taken away the dead sunflowers that were out there, that big plant that was at the front. I'm gonna go and put the Christmas inflatables up. I'm at Asda and it's about 10 past three. So I'm gonna go in, get the couple of bits that I need and then I will go to the dentist. They're only gonna put in a, a fake filling, like a temporary filling is what I mean. So they're not gonna be able to do the whole thing now. What do you think of my mask? dentist went really well um he did a permanent filling and i thought he was only going to do a temporary one to get me through till the new year but he hasn't yay um so and i'm not numb because i didn't have the numbing doodah um i said yeah let's give it a go without and it was fine because he wasn't going really really deep um what had happened is a piece had come off a piece of tooth had snapped on a tooth that had already got a filling in it so he sorted it out Anyway, I'm going to go and have a bath and then um, I'm going to go downstairs and we will do the calendar and what's in the hat because we need to redo that, don't we? What's in the hat? Good evening, you lovely lot. Right. What's in the hat? What's in the hat? What's in the hat? There we go. Today's what's in the hat after a weekend of not doing it because I was obviously in the van over the weekend. Uh, there you go. What's in the hat? It was prominent in today's vlog. That is your clue. It doesn't have to be Christmassy. It was just prominent in today's vlog. And let's see the calendar. I do believe it is the 13th today. Thankfully, it's not a Friday. Number 13 is hiding oh it's right down here that's why right down the bottom among the berries what do you think it might be down here it's a standard size door it's not a long door have we had a hedgehog yet we haven't i'm going to go with hedgehog what do you think it might be have you made your guess oh it's not a hedgehog. It's a rabbit. And a little tiny one. Very, very cute. Very cute indeed. Okay, so this is my last week with the, well, with all my children that I look after because next week is half term and I've probably only got about half the children. So I need to remember which children need to take home their Christmas presents this week that they've made for their parents. We need to wrap up Christmas presents that they've made for their parents. And I need to send them home with the presents that I've got them. Next week's gonna be quite busy because although I'm only doing three days next week, it is going to be full on, I think, with potentially six children under eight. Brendan's just appeared with tongs. He's cooking bacon. Which is always good. It's going to make me very jealous. 
because I'm going to want bacon. Um, but I had curry for dinner. I grabbed a, a what you call it meal, uh, a quick meal, ready meal, whatever they're called. And I had a korma for my dinner. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, you lovely lot. And I will see you all tomorrow.